Hey guys, it is Tell a Story Week. Also, I just want to start off with saying the nails are gone again. Two of them chipped in one day, which is a thing that I'm not used to, and so I didn't know how to deal with it, and looking at it drove me crazy and I bit my nails off. So, back to square one here, but... It's okay. Okay, so it's Tell Story Week. And I thought about being super funny and making up some crazy weird story or something. And then um, I remember this really cool thing that happened to me this time last semester. So like right before Christmas break. It was finals week. And to take this test, one of my finals, um, we needed this little, it wasn't a scan charm. It was like a bunch of blank pages, but it was in this thing for the teacher to, I don't know. It was kind of strange. I don't see why we couldn't just write on regular paper, but we needed one of these things. And there were two vending machines in the building that my test was in that had these booklets in them. And so I was like, oh, I'll just get them that day. Well, apparently he did that with like four of his classes because both of those vending machines were sold out. And... So it's like five minutes before my class is supposed to start. And I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do? I have to have one of those sheets. I have to, like, to take my vinyl. This has to happen. And I remember that there are vending machines in the library. Well, this building's here. And then there's some sidewalk and a street. And then a long sidewalk. And then here's the library. So, like... It's not like it was all the way across campus. Technically, the buildings are right next to each other, but they're far enough apart that it wasn't like I ran out and ran in. I had to run out, run across the sidewalk, run across the street, run into the library. Plus, the library is huge, so I had to find the room the vending machine's in. There's, like, a five-people-long line, and I'm, like, running through to get to the fucking vending machine. And I get there, and I'm like, oh, my God. And I'm like sorting through my stuff. I had a crumpled up bill. And I was trying to like straighten my bill so that it would go in and not give me any trouble. And this kid in front of me sees me like struggling with all this. And he turns around, gives me all of his change, and then he just walks away. And I'm like, thank, thank you. And he was like already gone. And I'm like, oh, yes. And it was one of the like greatest things ever. Like, kid totally saved my ass because that dollar bill was not going to go into the machine. And yeah, and I got my Scantron and I ran back to the class and then it turned out there was only one other person that didn't have that booklet and somebody else only had one extra one. So if I hadn't done that, who knows what would have happened. I thought that was a pretty crazy story. That kid was, oh my gosh, it blew my mind. Like, so nice. It was so nice. Oh, my allergies. But yeah, so that's my story. So I never really got to tell it. I remember tweeting about it and being like, oh my god, <laughs> like, there is a god. <laughs> because, yeah, it was such a stressful moment. And I got back to class just in time, and I still can't believe it. I mean, it was like a two dollars and change. Like, I don't know what he was buying, but it was really nice, and it was cool that a completely random stranger would just do that for me. Just turn around and give me all of their change. Without even, like, saying anything. He wasn't even like, oh, do you want to, like, give me your dollar and I'll give you this change? Like, just turn around and plop the change in my hand. I don't even know how my hand got to be stretched out. Like, I don't understand how that happened. Like, he literally turned around and, like, put change in my hand. And I was like... And he was gone before I could even say thank you. It was so crazy. It was so nice. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. I have to get going. I hope you liked my story. Maybe it will inspire you to do something nice for someone today. Not that you all wouldn't anyways. You're all lovely people. That wasn't sounding sarcastic and it wasn't. That wasn't sarcasm. I'm sorry. Sometimes my eyes just do things and it implies sarcasm. I'm like, no, I was, I was genuine. Take my heart. Okay. That's it. 
Um, Alicia, I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye!